Hi, my name is Brenda Fulmer. I'm a partner with the Mass Tort Unit at Cersei Denny. Do you know how to protect yourself from dangerous drugs and hypersensitivity reactions? There are more than 100 drugs that have been linked to a potentially fatal hypersensitivity reaction. This reaction is part of a spectrum of conditions that includes Stevens-Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis, which is also known by the acronym TEM. This drug reaction has been linked to penicillin, sulfur-based drugs, and a number of other medications or combinations of medications. In its earliest stages, Stevens-Johnson syndrome usually begins as itching or a rash with flu-like symptoms. The reaction can quickly progress to include blisters on the skin, ulcers in the mouth and nose, and peeling of the skin. The reaction often occurs with only a day or two after starting a new medication. If the new drug is stopped quickly, the progression of Stevens-Johnson syndrome can often be stopped. If the condition is not promptly recognized and treated, however, the patient can suffer devastating injuries, including loss of skin all over their body, blindness, arrhythmias, and even death. The lawyers at Cersei Denning handle lawsuits against drug manufacturers who have failed to provide proper warnings regarding the risk of Stevens-Johnson and TENS. Since Stevens-Johnson syndrome can result from improper medications being prescribed to patients who are vulnerable to developing Stevens-Johnson and is often misdiagnosed by physicians, patients who have been injured or died may also have claims for medical malpractice. Stevens-Johnson syndrome has been linked to a number of different medications including numerous antibiotics, such as Bactrim and vancomycin, seizure medications such as Dilantin, over-the-counter pain relievers like Motrin, and arthritis medications such as Bextra.